Oh, hey guys, and welcome to Ocean Roadies. My name is Kuhn, and today we're not at the ocean. <laughs> we just left her. We're here on the road that leads to a castle. This very castle behind me. The castle of Lusa, which lies deep in the mountains, between dense groves and rivers, populated by wild beasts, was built by King Arus, who was the king of Konimbriga. He and his daughter, the princess Perelta, had to retreat to this castle when Konimbriga was unexpectedly attacked by Prince Lausus and his army. However, the king did not expect that. At the moment of flight, the princess would fall in love with Lausus. He locked her up in the castle and rode out to meet the prince in battle. <laughs> Neither of them survived, locking the princess in the castle until our final days. They say, if you listen closely, you can still hear the screams of Princess Perelta calling out for her one true love. It's uh, really deep in the mountains, close to Coimbra. And you can hear the river flowing beneath the valley. This is pretty cool. So part of the reason this castle is hidden deep in the mountains is because King Arus was fleeing it from his enemies and he had to hide here. Looks uh, quite well renovated. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. Just hope there is some treasure still behind the king and the princess. All right, here we are standing in the walls of the castle. We've got a choice here, the modern stairs, Old school stairs. I think I'm going old school. Feels really special to walk in a building as old as this one. Let's go all the way to the top. Okay, here we are on the top of the castle. Got a nice view over the valley from here. Really nice. And uh, yeah. Seems like a nice place to hide a castle, especially for such a long time. I hope the people who lived here had a lot of fun being here. But with the tragedy of the story, I doubt that it was a fun occasion every time. So I woke up in this beautiful area, had some nice breakfast, played a few morning songs and get ready to hike. So we're gonna do the route of the Chist villages. It goes through these beautiful villages made from the Chist rock, hence the name. Some of them abandoned, partially, maybe. Some of them maybe have some people still. It's early in the morning, the sun is already up and it's getting quite warm. Let's have a good time today. There are 27 of these villages in Portugal most of which scattered around the mountains of Lusa. The houses are built with a chest rock, some dating back as early as the 12th century. The trail I followed goes to three of these villages, Castle Novo, Chiquero and Talasto. Alright, here we are back at the pool. We had a little swim here yesterday after the hike, which was really nice and refreshing. I'm sure I'm gonna get in after this hike as well. Such a beautiful garden here next to the little church. Nice to see how people are making the mountain even more beautiful. Here we are at the cross, <laughs> looking over the valley of Lusa. See the castle right there, the chapel over there. It's really beautiful. Like I said yesterday, I think uh, being trapped in this castle for the rest of your life, like the Princess Baralta might have to go through, it wouldn't be the worst thing of the world. It's a beautiful region, there's water all around, you know, if you can invite some friends that would be fun as well. <laughs> 
but uh, yeah, I can definitely imagine worse places to be trapped for the rest of your life. It's early in the morning, already out of breath. That's okay. We got the Casa Novo, the first just village, very close. Gives me the motivation to continue and check it out. Okay, here we are guys. I'm completely out of breath, but we made it to the first chest village. You can see all these little abandoned houses made from the chest rock. High up on the mountains, having a peaceful life. So let's see what their home of residence used to look like. Someone's still living here. <laughs> Looks like this house here is for sale. <laughs> Let's uh, check out the price later on. So, this place is not completely abandoned. Some people still living here. Not too many, but I think the people who do, they like to enjoy some peace and quiet. was the first chest village. They call it a new village, an old chest. There are two more on the route that we're gonna explore. So a little bit more hiking to do. And no matter what happens, always keep smiling. All right guys, welcome to the second chest village. It's the village of Chiquero. Nice to see the cats still inhabit this village. Coming on that. Not much human activity here. <laughs> Walking here through rocky terrains, ruins of old houses, being in the mountain, in the nature, it's really uh, an extraordinary path. So, if you visit the valley of Lusa, check out the chest villages because you will see a different way of life and you are very close in the nature. Alright, walking here on the edge of the mountain, on these rocks, <laughs> all made from the same chest zone as the houses of these villages. I think it's really really cool, I think the last one is really hidden deep in the mountains. You know, it sounds like a place where the Princess Paralta could have been hiding as well <laughs> if she wasn't stuck in the castle. Maybe she got in touch with the villagers, met up from time to time to have awesome mountain village parties. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so here we are guys, the third and final of the chest village that we're going to explore today. This one has maybe the most beautiful view and it's right here on the mountain so that's very very nice. And this last village is definitely a bit more <laughs> habited. <laughs> There's a couple of bars here, you can get some cafe, some ice cream. Definitely gonna get something because it's been a long uh, <laughs> and nice journey. Having seen the three villages, which one do you prefer? Do you like the one that's high up on the mountains and pretty much abandoned? <laughs> or do you like the last one, which has some tourists, some life, some restaurants? I don't know, call me crazy, but I think I liked the third one the most. Maybe it's not as old school or abandoned as other places. Maybe it's a bit more touristy, but as much as I enjoy nature, 
I enjoy seeing people come together even more. Okay, I can see the chapel, so we're very close. Painful knee, but a smile on my face <laughs> for having such a nice journey. Just a couple more meters, and then time for a nice swim. We made it back to the camper. We made it back to the castle of Lusa. So, <laughs> let's have a nice swim and enjoy the final moments of today. Okay guys, we made it to the pool. Super happy that after the hike we end up here. So we can finally do this. Oh, oh, that feels really nice. Whew, it's quite fresh indeed. Here at the pool, next to the castle of Lusa. Uh, really happy to end up here. We'll wash away the sweat from this beautiful hike where we explored the Chist villages of Portugal. So, <laughs> really recommend to visit Lusa. It's super beautiful. It's in the middle of Portugal, close to Coimbra. If you enjoyed this adventure, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe for more adventures because we're definitely gonna explore more ghost towns in uh, Portugal and other countries too. And then we'll see you on the road. Cheers! <laughs>